now I've got a really really quick video uh, today to show you and it's just a tip basically if you want to make circular uh, patch antennas circular panel antennas um, doesn't mean to say it's got circular polarization it's just that um, instead of using a rectangle or a square you're using a uh, circle to make your main driven element now this is something I came across on microwaves101.com uh, a guy posted there and I'll put a link in the description um, of how uh, he managed to uh, get a formula to convert the measurements for a uh, patch antenna like this one I've drawn out here um, convert those into a circular patch antenna and nine times out of ten it's absolutely bang on and doesn't need any further you know trimming a little bit off here and there definitely gets you in the ballpark now as I said on the website is put the formula up but I want to show you an extremely easy way of doing it using a calculator you don't need to be a maths expert by any means um, so use your favorite um, online calculator for uh, a, a patch antenna panel antenna um, I'll link to below basically the identical websites now I built one here for 2.45 gigahertz for Wi-Fi uh, these are my measurements here the uh, height is 52.94 and the width is 61.18 millimeters now what you've got to do is add the dielectric height into those two uh, figures there so that's uh, the distance between uh, the reflector and your main driven element you also need to incorporate when you go onto these calculators uh, your dielectric constant if you're using uh, just plain old air uh, then it's just one um, FR4 board tends to be around four it it, it differs from 3.5 to 5 but uh, I always put four in just middle of the road I haven't got a problem with that gets me in the uh, area that I want to uh, build the antenna for if uh, you're not sure about uh, dielectric constants just google it and it'll come up with a list of different materials and their dielectric constants but uh, you know if you stick with there it's just one so what you've got to do with these figures then to uh, get your uh, measurement for your circular uh, patch antenna is you add the six millimeter dielectric height which is what i'm going to add in because that's i, I prefer six millimeters it's a nice easy uh, distance to make and uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos those little uh, nylon spaces six millimeters you know you, <laughs> you're making your job a lot easier so you add the six millimeters into each one of these two figures so now we've got uh, 67.18 millimeters and 58.94 millimeters now we've got to get the square root and times those two figures together and the easiest way to do this on a calculator this is just a, a very very cheap calculator let me zoom in a little bit so I'm going to hit the square root button brings uh, the square root function up then I'm going to put a bracket on and now what I'm going to do is times these two numbers together so 67.18 times 58.94 and then I'm going to close brackets, press equals, and that gives me 62.92 millimeters. Now, of course, that's the diameter. If you want the radius, if you want to use a compass, you just divide that by two. And then you've got your radius for your uh, circular patch antenna, 31.46. This is for 2.45 gigahertz. And this works for any frequency. It's really, really simple. There's probably uh, 100 different ways to uh, work this out, but this is the one that I use. It's very easy, and I can remember it in my head. Uh, mass doesn't come easy to me. I've mentioned that before in previous videos. Um, really, really easy, so I thought I'd share it. Now another little tip if uh, you want to uh, have a go at making these is get yourself one of these cheap uh, vinyl cutter compasses. It's basically a compass with a uh, cutter in here to cut vinyl into perfect circles. This is a cheap one I got off eBay. Don't trust the measurements on here. Use uh, some calipers to get your correct measurement. And you can buy sheets of vinyl off eBay really, really cheap, uh, A4 sheets, and you can just place the vinyl onto your uh, double-sided uh, copper and 
cut out the circle like I've, you've seen here and uh, I can etch this out and uh, that will protect the copper under there and I've got a perfect uh, circular patch antennae you can use this cheap copper board instead of using photo resist or anything else really really simple way of doing it and of course I've worked this uh, element out because we're using FR4 board uh, it's it's just over one millimeter thick away from the uh, underside of the copper really really easy and of course one thing that uh, it doesn't show on uh, either the panel uh, antenna calculator or the circular one um, you can put your feed bang in the middle if you want to uh, this is one that I've been playing around with this is one for 1800 megahertz using uh, this uh, formula here playing around with the uh, feed in there so you can see what I've done um, as I say, the uh, diameter, the radius, just gets you in the ballpark. Then you can play around and fine-tune them. But uh, it really does work. Now, of course, just cutting your uh, element into a circle is not going to give you circular polarisation. That's uh, To achieve that, uh, you need the two feeds offset between each other. That's uh, a completely different area. But what this does do, though, is... Uh, the uh, energy distribution in the horizontal and the vertical um, are virtually identical so for this patch antenna here for instance um, it's going to be slightly different in the uh, horizontal and vertical it's not going to be perfect but this is near perfect which makes it really good for a uh, test antenna so I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little video as always uh, links will be in the description go check them out have a play with your calculator it really does work um, I asked my son if he could tell me what's going on uh, with this calculation and uh, he's the physicist and what uh, he uh, kind of thinks is going on is it's taking a uh, geometric mean between uh, a uh, square or rectangle patch antenna um, and then putting it onto uh, the circular patch antenna so geometrically these are probably identical a little bit over my head but I thought I'd just throw that in there as well but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up comments or questions drop them below especially if you've got an even easier way of working this out but uh, yeah hopefully you'll join me on the next one